I'm Ree from Identified Hair and this is my good friend Katie who is going to be our little model today. We get asked a lot why our straightenings last longer than when people do it at home so we're going to show you all of our little tips and tricks. We're going to start by washing the hair, nice and dirty so ready to be washed. We're going to be using a Pearl Miracle shampoo and mask. This has a combination of protein and moisture which is what your hair lacks when it's been bleached. So I'm just going to use that to make the hair feel nice and soft and silky and bring it back to what it should be. Right, so we've washed the hair now. When the hair's wet, it's all elastic and can get quite tangled. So this is some moisture milk. So I'm just going to spray this through the ends to help detangle and to add some moisture into the hair. I'm just giving it a light brush. And this brush has that extremely flexible bristles. So it's not going to rip the hair out and break it. So we're going to blow dry this with as much volume as we can. So I'm going to be using a blow dry priming root lift. So I'm just going to pop this in, show you how to do it. Spray it directly on the roots and take fine sections and keep doing so. I'm just blocking your face so she doesn't get any on her face. So I'm going to go through the whole top half of the hair to get as much lift as possible. Blow dry it in to get maximum volume. We're actually going to flip upside down. So now I'm actually going to get Katie to take over. Now that the roots are dry and we've got that volume, we're going to put some heat protecting leave-in moisturiser into the ends. Okay. So it doesn't burn. Then we're going to dry the rest of it. So now that we're mostly dry, I'm going to take the hair in three sections and we're just going to smooth off the ends and then we're going to go through with the strainer. Just using my fingers to section. Gently separate the hair because it is still a little bit wet so it's still a little bit fragile. Now we're going to start the straightening. I'm going to do a few sections and then Katie's actually going to take over to show you how easy it is to do on yourself and also the positioning of your arms will be different. So we're going to go through and section up the hair. Just with our fingers. We're going to be using a heat protectant. 
This stops the hair from getting burnt from the straightener because straighteners are a lot hotter than the hair dryer. We need to protect it again. So I'm just going to spray this on from a distance, just a light spritz. So you don't want to make the hair wet. And this just works like a sunscreen to stop it from burning. When it comes to straightener, we always use one with the temperature control. On hair that is this long and this blonde, I wouldn't go over 160. Right, so we're going to be using a brush. This just stops any knots because if you straighten over a knot and the hair's bent, it'll actually create a break point. So put the brush under, the straightener is on between 150 and 160. I'm going to turn the straightener towards me or when Katie does it away from herself and just slowly move down the hair. By bending the straightener towards any little flyaways you have, just get tucked down, which means it will look smoother.